Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Welcome back and it's Wednesday once again and you're halfway home to the weekend and we've got another great show lined up for you. So let's jump right into it. Today we're starting off the show with another schedule update courtesy of the Wings of Strength crew who published a preliminary list of events for the 2021 contest season a few days ago. As far as pro events are concerned, it looks like they're kicking things off in early June with the Omaha Pro, followed by the Puerto Rico Pro a few weeks later, and half a dozen other events that look like they're already locked in all through the month of November. There is one other thing to note here, which is that the New York Pro, Rising Phoenix World Championships, and the Miss Olympia are all on the to-be-announced list. That being said, all three of those events turned out amazing last year, so once they're all sorted out, I'm sure they'll all be great once they take place. The most important person you could tell the truth to is yourself, which is easier said than done sometimes. And that's especially true when you're coming off the biggest win of your career, because then it becomes even easier to trick yourself into thinking you're already ahead of the game. But at least for the moment, your new and defending Fitness Olympia champ, Missy Truscott, doesn't seem like she's about to let herself fall into that trap. Missy says that she knows what to do to beat her Olympia package and that the first phase of her improvement season is already under construction. So as long as she keeps telling herself the truth, when she looks in the mirror, the odds of her coming back even better to do her first title defense seems like it's very high priority. Last week, when I was watching Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens get their butts kicked by the Bills, it really drove home how important scheme and flexibility are in sports. Because when you can't be flexible and adapt what you do, usually you end up falling flat on your face in the end. But luckily for him, Wesley Vissers has shown that he knows how to be one of the most adaptable athletes in classic physique when he needs to. Through the first few weeks of the year, Wesley and his team have been trying to systematically address some of his weaknesses by going back to the drawing board, which is exactly what you need to do in this division. It's all about being flexible enough to stay ahead of the curve so that you don't end up being one of the ones who finds yourself on the outside looking in. And finally, we're closing out the show today with an update on the Sami El Haddad saga that we discussed on one of last week's shows. In case you missed it, last week Sami was arrested and imprisoned by authorities in Qatar while he was on a fishing trip, which led to the government officials in his home country of Bahrain to become involved and call for his immediate release. Well, now I'm happy to report that Sammy and the other two men on the boat who were arrested have been released from custody and are now safely back home. According to local reports, the actions by Qatari authorities were widely condemned by a number of local countries, including Saudi Arabia, and it appears that they decided to release the men after facing mounting international pressure. Hopefully Sammy is back resting safe and sound with his family now and he can move on and put this incident behind him. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.